A group of parents is suing Governor Glenn Youngkin over an executive order that would allow parents to decide if their children wear masks in schools. Our Leland Pender explains the lawsuit and how local school districts are responding to the order. Leland? Well, Bill, that lawsuit against the governor and other state officials is coming out of Chesapeake. And tonight, Richmond Public Schools formally saying they'll stick with their mask requirement despite the governor's order. Motion passes, Madam Chair. Tuesday, RPS formally recommitting to its mask requirement. However, in a solo effort and failed attempt, board member Jonathan Young proposing a change to the resolution, giving parents the option to opt out. What the apprehension is relevant to uh, trusting our parents uh, to know what is best for their children. Board Chair Dr. Shonda Harris Muhammad responds. I will never question a parent about what they feel um, what is best for their child. We have an obligation, ladies and gentlemen, as a division to ensure that safety is first over instruction. A state law passed with bipartisan support last year requires school districts to follow CDC guidelines as best they can, which currently recommend universal masking. It's the uh, one of the biggest parts from the CDC guidance. A group of Chesapeake parents are now suing the governor over the executive order. Matthew Castillo is one of 13 plaintiffs. This particular uh, legal action isn't about um, trying to fight against parental rights. I think parental rights are very important. Um, but the executive branch doesn't make the law and it doesn't get to override the law when it doesn't like it. The governor's office says Democrats are purposefully misconstruing the order. Republican Senator Siobhan Dunavant says the measure is an off-ramp for parents. The governor is saying districts, you set your policy. Parents, you have the right to opt out. And so I think, I think, you know, he's empowering each of the entities to make the decisions that they need to make. And CBS 6 has reached out to Governor Youngkin's office for comment on the lawsuit, but we've not yet heard back. Henrico schools have said they'll continue with masks. Chesterfield and Hanover schools in our area tell CBS 6 they'll look at their policies once the governor's order takes effect later this month.